I'm really, I, so I'm in a book club and it's actually kind of one of my churches, you know, I've been in it for about seven or eight years now. And we've, we've been reading right now we're reading uh, N.K. Jemison's The City We Became. And I'm actually really into it. And it's got me thinking about gentrification and a bunch of stuff like that. And uh, before that, we read Ta-Nehisi Coates, um, uh, the, water bear, the Water Dancer. And I really, that was, it's, and I'm always kind of, I'm also trying, I haven't finished reading. <laughs> I've been slowly reading this book about a comrade of my dad's. Um, who he fought with all the time, who was a black gay, a closeted black gay man who um, was very active in the movement and many kind of people who are more famous in the movement. Um, his name is uh, Tom Dent and it's a collection of his writings by this other guy who my dad used to fight with a lot named Kalamu Yasalam. <laughs> who's a, a local poet. Yeah, and he's also, Kalamu supported a lot of young writers. And I love that poem, that Lucille Clifton poem that um, talks about, uh, you know, every day, won't you celebrate with me? Every day someone is, something has tried to kill me and has failed. I, I, I read that over and over again all the time. And then the, my other bathroom reading, I call it, is um, this book. It's like a little teeny tiny, it's kind of like a broadside book, like a little book of the letters of um, Audre Lorde and Pat Parker. They had a correspondence with each other. And this woman who I grew up with, who told me the funniest story about how her partner left her for Audre Lorde, basically. And, <laughs> and that's, that was her introduction to Audrey. And she gave me that book. And so I just think it's really great. <laughs> you always have the best stories, Wendy. The best. Well, and I didn't make it up. That's just the no, way it I know, I know, I know. You just know so many people. That's hilarious and so those and i've been listening to the sister there's a book called hands on the freedom plow i love that book i don't even have it but i've been referencing it and looking it up looking up little pieces um and the zen project has uh they when they did this it's this women from snick telling the stories of their experiences and so many of those women are, have passed away since they've written the book. And one, she didn't pass away, but the Zen Project re has recorded, when they did the book, they did like a panel for three days and oh, it's awesome. And this woman, Joanne, Martha Prescott Norman Noonan, woo, woo. I'm, I just got to shake my head. She's, um, she's amazing. She's a historian, a movement historian. And she, she's not from Southwest Georgia, but she was a part of the Southwest Georgia project. And it's amazing. The last thing, and music, I love Bernice Johnson Regan. I love Bernice Johnson Regan and the Sweet Honey that was connected to Bernice Johnson Regan. Sweet Honey and the Rock of Bernice Johnson Regan's time. And I love the music of Isaiah Maria Barnwell. And I have been listening to, um, I've also, I've actually been listening to Toshi Regan, Dr. Regan's daughter. And um, that concert she just posted right after the election is fire. And um, I've been listening to Theolonius Monk, even though I'm not a huge fan, my dad was a huge fan. And when I write, that's what I need. You gotta love Monk. Oh, no, I'm not. A, I'm just, 
I, I, I do like Monk. I'm just saying I'm not, I can't pretend to be knowledgeable. I just know what my dad likes. And I love this group, Rising Appalachia. Do you know them? Okay, and Spirit McIntyre, you, have you heard of Spirit McIntyre? Spirit. Local musicians. 